It's taken three years, but finally the woman accused of killing Harry Dunn has appeared in court. It's a moment his family have been fighting for. The 19-year-old died when his motorbike collided with Anne Sekoulas' car. Shortly after that, she returned home to America under diplomatic protection. Well, Divya Kohli has been uh, watching proceedings in North London for us today. Uh, Divya, good to talk to you. What exactly has been happening? Yes, well, Dan Ann Sekoulis appeared from the US via video link today. She spoke only to state her name and her date of birth. She is charged with causing death by dangerous driving after 19-year-old Harry Dunn was killed in a traffic collision in Northamptonshire in 2019. Today is significant because this is the first time this case is being heard in a British court three years after Harry Dunn's death. And also family and friends sat together hand in hand during the hearing but they appeared outside the court also in solidarity their spokesperson had this to say i just wanted to say on their behalf a massive thank you firstly to you all for all your support over the last three years and to the millions of people around the world who have supported this heroic family through this amazing campaign and we'll see you all next month well, let me take you back to what happened in 2019. Harry Dunn was just 19 years old. He was killed on the 27th of August. He was riding his motorbike in Crowton in Northamptonshire, very near to the RAF base, when a car travelling in the opposite direction on the wrong side of the road crashed into him. The driver of that car was Ansipoulos. Many people, many viewers watching tonight will, will know and have heard about this case for many years, as you say, back in 2019. Why has it taken such a long time to get to this stage? Well, there has been much back and forth between the US and the UK governments and arguments over diplomatic immunity. Anne Sekoulis left the UK 19 days after the crash, claiming diplomatic immunity. Harry Dunn's family have made several attempts to get justice for their son's death, including a meeting with the former US President Donald Trump. But their three-year wait for criminal proceedings is now over. Anne Sekoulis was granted unconditional bail and she will next appear in court on the 27th of October.